everybody. I have my best friend Dana Elizabeth Williams here. <laughs> I love here. my whole name. Yes. <laughs> we, we had a wonderful day. We went on a date. We had Italian food. It was great. It was um, Dana's been on my YouTube channel before in 2015, so go check that out. I'll leave it in the description box below. And her blog is going to relaunch soon. So, soon? yes. Yeah, so, check I will... Out. I will post that when the blog comes or you can comment down below and you can say hey email me when her blog comes out and you can leave your email or something yeah. or, and I can email you we can do, we just do, do the thing all right so everyone's been discouraged right you've been discouraged before I've been discouraged yeah, before you know you've been times. yeah you'd be let down life you know like we we plan our life and life most of the time does not go how we plan and we can get discouraged so Dana's just a huge encouragement in my life she's a great teacher like she's a school teacher but she's also a biblical teacher she's a writer she's a feature author go check her out but like you know what i mean like so i just want to ask dan like how do you deal with discouragement because i know a lot of y'all are discouraged and you know life just don't doesn't go our way so dana like um you're talking about an instagram post right. follow her on instagram yes. the link below but she yeah. had an instagram post just talking about how you know you don't have to tell us the whole post but just like how do you like, how do you deal with discouragement? Like, what is, if you, for this person watching, hey, who you're special, whoever you're watching, like, what will you, if they just, let's just say they're just, something just went wrong, like, right. how can they move forward? Like, how can they just not give up and just be in that funk? Like, how do you? That is a great question. <laughs> so, um, you should still be in the video with me. <laughs> I'm like, like listening. By myself. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I did share a post yesterday, and it was, like she said, I am a um, kindergarten teacher. Like I just finished my first year, Yay. praise God. But it's so funny um, that after graduation, like I feel like I've dealt with like I had like a lot of disappointments, like back mm -hmm. to back to back, and like like we all do, you know, just basically just things not really going my way. And like me personally, I'm like a she knows I'm a huge planner, bro. Yes, I literally plan my whole life, yes. and even as a Christian, still thinking, oh, like that. God is, you know, you know, you know, gonna make things, these yeah, things happen. By and faith, stuff. right? By faith. Look, and that's nothing wrong with that. But right. Sometimes it don't go. Yeah, and so just a lot of things just weren't really going like my way after, after I graduated college. Like I ended up coming back living with my parents, which at first I hated, but like now I'm Same. like content, even though yeah. I'm still like you know, have some goals mm -hmm. of you know branching out yes. but um yeah just nothing was really working out and so specifically for my teaching career um this is like even though I have other disappointments with relationships and life and friendships even but I think for me my biggest one has been my teaching career so basically in order to be a teacher some of you might be teachers so you might know you have to be certified and so I am certified in certain areas but not in this one area that I really really need mm -hmm. and so it was taking me a long time actually it's been taking me like three years um I've been trying to be a certified teacher for three years by the grace of God I got um, hired because I was just in the right place at the right time just Yay. to be honest I was subbing I was like finally content with li living here I was like hey I'm a sub and I'm a study for my test and I'm gonna get it mm -hmm. and there was like hey we need another kindergarten teacher can you can you do it sure yeah <laughs> and so that was by the grace of God but it gave me a year to pass my test and mm. um yeah I just I didn't pass it still and I took it I'm not gonna mention the times that I've taken it but I reached the limit of yeah. times and so I was like it was coming to the end of the school year I'm like god like I, I really love this like I love to teach and I feel like you I can't preach myself doing anything else in this season of my life and um yeah um the, the school year was coming to an end and I took it again and I I did much better I passed in certain areas but I didn't pass in all areas and so I was like okay all right god you don't want me to do this anymore I won't um and so even though I had a lot of options I was trying to be positive at first but it was very this wasn't my plan mm -hmm. I was like well, what am I going to do now you know this is not how it's supposed to go and then I'm hit I'm hit with so much uh regret like why yeah, didn't I just pass the first word. time I'm looking at all these other teachers they try, they trying to get their principal certification mm -hmm. I'm like I can't even pass my first so I was just so beating myself up with 
shame and regret and I wish I would have and why didn't I why can't I be smarter Mm -hmm. and then it's coming on my identity like making people like I'm not enough I'm not a good enough teacher which don't this test does not have anything Mm -hmm. to do with how well you are a teacher and if you are a teacher or if you know a teacher you know exactly um you know what I mean by that but it's kind of like a little identity crisis like a big identity crisis (laughs) low key (laughs) but yeah so but anyway, just to wrap the story up a little bit, I'm a storyteller. But to wrap the story, story up, um, yeah, I was just thinking about, you know, okay, so I found out that I was able to still take the test again, but I had to go through a waiver process. So mm-hmm. I was going to have to pay a lot of money and, like, do, like, workshops and courses and stuff like that before I even attempt to take the, to study for the test and take the test again. So it was a lot of time. But I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to do it. People were encouraging me, like, hey, you can't just bar, like, you know. And I was like, you know what, God, I think I'm going to do this. But I didn't think I was going to keep my job because they said a year. A year's been up. I will just find something else, work at a coffee shop or something, work mm-hmm. at Bucky's, get some money. Yeah. Literally. And I was even thinking about, hey, I can go overseas, travel. I'm like, the world is mine. Mm-hmm. So I'm just looking at all these things. And I'm like, oh, I got so many options. But then I started getting anxious because I'm like, I have too many options. Mm-hmm. And then, um, so I went to my principal and at the end, basically, long story short, they gave me, I was able to keep my job. Dang, that's favor. I was like, mm, cause I'm a rule follower. I'm like, I don't deserve it. I'm like, this don't make sense. Mm. I, she was like, the principal was like, I'm just, you're a great teacher. Like, I don't see why not. I could just ask them to give you another year. I don't see why. Dang, I'm like, grace. no, but they gave me a year and I didn't meet the requirements. That's not in the rule book. Mm. But yeah, I was able to. I was like, yeah, I'll give you a whole nother year. And she's like, hey, if this overall, if you, if this starts to get a little bit too overwhelming, you know, I have a certification in special ed. She's like, okay, you can try to do special ed. I'm like, what? So I literally cried. Like I literally wow. went to one of my other kindergarten teachers and I told her and I started crying because I was, I went to two of them. I cried and I went to another room and I was like, bro, they said I can give me they'll give me another year and I cried but I really was feeling like the grace of God because that's grace and that doesn't really happen often for teachers no not really (laughs) no for real and so um so yeah so at first I was just so overwhelmed with grace and I was uh just really happy but then here comes the summer Mm -hmm. and here's me like okay trying to find workshops and courses and then I have this plan for the summer okay and things are just not working out the way I planned and things are stretching out and then I'm making little itty bitty mistakes that I'm beating myself up about and it's like this process cannot be any longer it's been three years already like I gotta pay all this money and that I was struggling really hard this summer and then um with so much discouragement and um just things just not really going my way but just recently I started to get more focused and I think the one thing that's, that's, that has helped me is I'm actually reading this book called um, Own Your Every Day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're going to have to link that. Yes, I really like that. Jordan, Jordan Lee Dooley. Yeah. We'll link that. And it's just been helping me just own your every day. Own your literally every day. Own it. Own your life mm-hmm. every single day. That's good. And that's, this is where I'm at right now. I'm looking. I'm like, oh, I want to be traveling in the summer. I want to be doing this. I want to be doing great things. I want to be doing my blog. I want to be doing all this stuff. All this stuff. But this is where I'm at right now. Like, mm-hmm. I chose to continue this walk, so I'm going to have to put in the work of studying. Even though it may seem like I'm going backwards, low-key I kind of am. But I'm still moving forward by choosing to do it. And so, yeah. um... And I heard, I don't mean to for you, but I right. heard um, Daphne, is it my my Diara? Is that her name? You know who talking about Daphne? I love, yeah, Daphne. But she Check said, uh, yeah, she said, um that she felt that she was going backward in her life because everyone else was moving forward and she's been like in a long engagement and people don't really get it mm. you know at first I low-key didn't get it but seven years like why aren't you married yet you know a long time. and but she was saying she was feeling discouraged because no one really got her and she said God showed her a picture of an arrow like going backward but really when you know when you pull the arrow backward it's like it's going to shoot forward so you think you're really going backward but you're, you're getting you're getting ready to be shot forward so that's a prophecy you're really getting ready to get shot for it. Smash that. Smash Y'all that. smash that. I will. Yes. <laughs> Amen. I'll take that. That's good. So I always thought about that with my life and what you just said, like, going backwards. Sometimes we're just getting positioned to be launched. Right. Yeah. And it's so easy, like, to look at other people's lives and see them excelling and moving forward and stuff. But, um, 
you know, I think the biggest thing that's helping me is just knowing that this is my life and this is mm. where I'm at right yeah, now. Yeah, and that, yeah. like, not to compare myself to anyone else. Because if I do, I'm going to think I'm behind, I'm this, I'm yeah. that. But there's people that, um, you know, will, you know, even though I decided to get married and all those things, and those are great. But I need to be happy where I'm at right now. Because there's some people low-key. And I know some people that they're married and they wish they were single. Mm, And so when I'm over here single and I want to be married. So I need to enjoy my singleness. And enjoy this time. And take advantage of this time that I do have to still work on my certification. If Mm -hmm. something else happened, if I, you know, I probably, if I was in a different situation, maybe I wouldn't have time to actually still work on this, on my certification. So um, another thing that's been helping me. Um, real quick, because I know I don't. No, no, no. This is good long. stuff. But this just like stuff. practical stuff, like of course we need to be spending time with God and stuff like that, and knowing our worth and identity. Mm-hmm. That's a huge thing. But like practical stuff, like I, I started working out. Like I love that's to run, good. but just working out just been like helping me. Just because sometimes I just get so like very dis, very very discouraged, mm. and it makes me not want to do anything. Like um, fear of the unknown mm-hmm. and. Um, Yes, it's a fear of the unknown and fear of failure. Because I still do at the end of the day, even though this test is so far away because I'm doing all this other stuff. But sometimes when I think, I'm like, what if I do all of this and I still fail? Mm, Why even try? And so sometimes that really, I don't even want to. You're paralyzed. You can't do nothing. It's just Mm -mm. like, why? Basically, why try? Right. So just like practical stuff like working out. Like, I can, I usually cannot do one push up, but just like, just challenging myself to do something so practical like that like hey you know i can do this because that stuff hurt it like does. even i was doing jumping jacks i was doing 100 jumping jacks and i told somebody and they were like really jumping jacks that's nothing but after yeah, a while that stuff them. hurts yeah. and um and so for me i'm just kind of like it's helping me because it's very motivating yeah. for me to even when it hurts, and that's mm. what—that's why I like to run. Good. Even when it hurts, like bro, I'm tired. I've been running three miles. I'm tired. I yeah, wanted to stop, good, but the race is not finished yet. And so, Dang, that's a word. That's a if word. I could snap, I could. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah. So just like some practical, whatever you know. So and also for me, like I like riding. That really helps me too. So I'm trying. Like I'm. This is a journey. Like mm-hmm. literally, I just was like really motivated this morning. So don't think that like I'm been good for uh, forever. Like it's like a journey. Yeah. But yeah, just find something very very practical that could get your mind off of it and that could like get you motivated. Another thing is gratefulness. Like being grateful. Mm-hmm. I wrote a gratitude list this morning. Like being That's grateful. Good. Um, and just keep moving forward and um, don't look at you know where you're not like which is so easy for me like oh where I'm not but to look at you know like how far you've came and I have you know even though I'm not where I want to be you know I have I have grown a lot more internally than even though it's like oh okay I feel like I haven't did all that I want to do in my life externally but sometimes it's okay to just look at the you know on the inside but that's some good Dana. That was, yeah. Y'all, that was, y'all had a so. whole word and a half. Like Dana, you're anointed. You're so anointed, and you have a gift of just encouraging. And that's <laughs> all you. No, but it is you. Is you too? <laughs> they probably but, like, why is she just staring at the? Like, no, I'm love, not used to this. No, I love how I'm she stares to the camera because it's like you're talking to them. Like I love that. It's like personal because you know I be watching YouTube channels. I be feeling down sometimes. I be crying. I feel like that person. Had Lindsay be talking to me? He's like, you talking to me, sis? Like yesterday, literally, she she had a blog post. Oh, she's met Heather Lindsay before. Anyway, she did a blog a post about um basically like running on empty or it's gonna be okay yeah. and i literally was feeling i really was feeling like empty and like it because i'm like she is talking to me like so it's just like very intimate so we don't know who's watching this i get we get viewers from all around the world so i'm excited that you, dana could touch you and i hope so do you want to like close out with a little prayer a little just prayer a little, little something some extra <laughs> All right. Let's close our eyes by your head. Close your eyes. All right. I see you. I see you. All right, God. So, God, thank you so much um, for for this day that you bless us with, God, and thank you so much for my friend Stacy and for this um, platform you have given her, God, um, of just being your vessel and just encouraging people, God. And thank you for just giving me the opportunity to just 
share my story like honestly yes, god Jesus. and um we just thank you for your hand and your your hand of favor over our lives and just your grace god um we just thank you so much that you are so good mm. god and i um i just ask that you would just help us help um help me help oh, stacy help every every person that's listening to this god that might be in a season of discouragement or doubt or um fear of the unknown mm. um or the other word just stress yeah. god um just ask that you just that you'll be our motivation and that you'll give us something to look forward to god mm. that you'll give us joy god um no matter what they've been going through no matter it could be so much worse than just a test mm. um it could be so much deeper than that um god but i pray that you just bring hope into our lives and that you remind us um, that it's not over, yes, no matter sorry. what the test results say, no matter what the doctors say, no matter what, um, who walks away, um, that our life is not over. And even though our life may look different than we planned, it can still be beautiful, God. Yes, and so um, I just ask that you just bless everyone who's listening right now and um, that you would just continue to teach us how to be like you, Lord. I just, we love you so much and thank you for your, thank you for being so good. In Jesus' name, I pray. Church, say amen. Amen. <laughs> Yay. That was so beautiful, Dana. But y'all, if y'all want to connect my with... my number one cheerleader. I'm telling you, you, uh, need, you need a friend like that. She boosts everything uh, up. If anything, my everything. outfit. Bro, you look live. Right? Okay, thank you. Uh, get you a friend like me, I guess. I guess. Get anyway. But no, I'm going to leave to connect with Dana some more because she be spinning that fire on Instagram. Fine pics, but the word be good on her caption. So I'm going to leave the link to her Instagram so y'all can check her out. So when her blog does launch, y'all can be the first to know. So, all right. We love y'all. Have a great day. Thank you for watching this. And God bless. Peace out.